Hello and welcome back to Old School Modeler. My name is Nick. So today is a final on the Fat Fitters Fins and Chrome group build. Hosted by Rob over at Time Machine Scale Models. And I built the Monogram 56 Chevy Bel Air and 124 scale. The uh, um, Classic Cruisers and Rob sent me this kit a while back and I thought it was fitting to uh, build it for his group build and I did so I'll give it a once around, twice around get you a look at it and we'll talk about it of hair uh i had a lot of fun with this build of course if you know me i had to go to street machine there's just no question most of my builds are street machines or pro streets or if it's a movie car it's stock i don't build very many stock uh, cars but this one is all street machine I I painted it with uh, it's all Tamiya lacquer the the black is TS 14 black uh, the red is pure metallic red uh, it's TS TS95 pure metallic red over the black base. It, it's it's has gray gray primer, Tamiya gray primer, uh, wet sanded, uh, TS14 black. There's four coats of that, wet sanded, uh, taped off. Uh, TS9, TS95 Pure Metallic Red over the black. There's four coats of that. And then I didn't wet sand the, the red because I don't want to mess up the metallics. So then I let it cure for a day. And then I, I sprayed four coats of TS13 Clear. Tamiya, and I thought it turned out pretty good. Not too bad. The the uh, inner wheel backs, the four point cage, and the steering wheel is all bright red. That's also Tamiya. TS-49 bright red. The, the, I sh the wheels were chrome. I stripped the chrome. I primed them with black primer and then a semi-gloss black. And then I just went around the edges with the Molotov chrome pen. Of course, if there's a pro stock style scoop in the kit, I'm going to run it, most likely. That's one of my favorite uh, hood scoops. The taillights are Tamiya Clear Red. All the trim is bare metal foil. I almost didn't put the front bumper on because it was tweaked, warped, especially this side. This side's still warped. I'll show you here in a second. But, uh, yeah. 
I'll show you here in a, the interior here in a minute, but I went with the like a, a zodiac looking material. Um, like this. This is a green zodiac vinyl. This is a piece of it. So that's what I replicated in red. And that red is the same uh, pure metallic red over black primer. So we'll bring it around here and uh, we'll stop it and take a closer look. The hood is a nice snug fit. I did, I did do the bare metal foil on the emblems, and then the the red and the blue is a sharpie, blue sharpie, red sharpie, and then the white is like a, a white gel pen. A little tricky, not not the greatest, but the detail on that it is not very good it's uh, it's it's shallow but you can see the metallic and the red very sparkly that hood trim was nah. a little tricky to get on there it's not on there I mean it's on there but it's not I don't think it's on there correctly, but I didn't want to fog the chrome, and I kind of did, and I cleaned it up. And then the, those two marks are where the sprue tree was attached to it, so not much I could do there. You know, if you got a 55 or a 56, you ha it's a must to have the bird on the hood. I like the bird on the hood. And let's see. Bring in, of course, that if there's a blower or a tunnel ram in the kit, I'm going to run it. <laughs> I wired it, homemade. I, the alternator belt was the stock belt you would use if you don't run the run the blower. But I wanted the alternator, so I made it work. Modified it a little bit, shaded it down, and then I even put a alternator bracket. You can see there's a couple of speed holes in it. Core support was a little finicky, trying to get the battery to uh, sit in there and have the core support in there. A little close-up shot of the wheels. I think it looks really cool. The bright red behind them. Here's the interior. Trying to get it focused in here. I tried to detail the uh, interior as best I could. There's no dash decals or anything like that. As you can see, it's a red. Maybe not see. Uh, metallic red. Zodiac looking material. The back seat. The door panels and the front seats. There's a fire bottle on the on the floor there. Let's see if we can get in here. Silver, and then there, there's a monotone chrome around the trim.
like I said, the steering wheel, the uh, four point cake, four point roll bar, the fire bottle, and the wheel backs are to me a bright, to me a bright red. Not wanting to focus, but and the underneath is just basic detail. I let the stock exhaust i painted the gas tank white the drive shaft white and the front sway bar white and i left the headers the silver oh well, that's that's to me a silver leaf over black primer and then i got the coilovers coilover shocks i did i did put the quick change uh, rear end cover on her. I know it's not correct for the uh, rear end, but and of course I put a Michigan plate on there because that's where Rob is. So I figured that was fitting, and yeah. That's the 56 Chevy Bel Air by Monogram, 124 scale. And for the Fat Fender Spins of Chrome. I uh, thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed. This was a lot of fun. Thank you, Rob, for gifting me this kit. And thank you for hosting the Fat Fender Spins of Chrome. I hope to join again later this year, 2024. Um, I'll, I'll have to do a Fat Fenders build. I don't have one right now currently, but we will see what this year brings. So, yeah. Thank you guys for watching. Go ahead and give me a like, comment, subscribe. Do what you want. Build a model your way. You guys have a great night.